Oh, I... Oh, great void of space, what the fuck did we sign up for? There were only so many ways in which a human could hold their head. Face palm, face desk, or restrained laughter. And the tiniest bridge had so far managed to cover most of them. Cap, said comms. Cap, they're telling us to fall in. This is so fucking stupid, said the captain. What moronic idiotic... He raised his head to the ceiling and let out an annoyed roar. Tactical unsafety the hologram and give me the system map. It was a textbook arrangement. If the textbook by which the battle was being run had a publication date of around 1850 Earth calendar, and was in fact published on Earth. There was everything one could hope for. An open field, colorful uniforms, stupid formations, and a complete lack of common fucking sense. The captain shook his head and stared at the hologram. An asset that the bridge was not supposed to rely on in combat situations. The system was quite mass-rich. There were dozens of planets, several major asteroid fields, hundreds of moons, and an excess of debris. And none of it mattered, because the two enemy formations were arranging themselves above the system plane, clear of any major mass. Formations. In the open. In space. Oh. The captain grabbed his head. Oh, I think I just got a headache. Same, said Tactical. The UNE Tiny was in the middle of an expanding formation of blue ships. That's what they ca that's what they called themselves, not the nickname the humans gave the Federation that had signed on to help. Tens of thousands of ships were drifting into a layered grid-like formation. The layers varied between escorts, guard ships, and heavier battleships and carriers. The carriers, damn stupid things, were sitting by the battleships, spitting fighters as they fell in. The fighters joined the forwardmost layer and began to drift, waiting for the rest of the fleet to form up. Behind this multi-light second formation of stupidity were the blue freighter, repair, and supply ships. The cluster of unarmed ser the cluster of unarmed service craft huddled together, keeping the giant formation between themselves and the enemy. On the other side of the system, an equally idiotic view was unfolding to match the blues. Red crafts were arranging themselves in a slightly different but equally stupid formation. Fuck this shit, I'm out, said the captain. Navigation, turn us around. Get us out of the solar well and put us to warp. Think the void, said navigation. The Supreme Grand Admiral of the Blue Federation watched the human ship flee. Unsurprising. It was, in fact, a bit surprising. First, the grand nature of his fleet was a well-known morale factor, one that had yet to fail. His ships didn't flee. Second, the human military didn't give him the impression of being dishonorable or cowardly, which is what the UNE cruiser Tiny was being. Oh well, he turned back to his hologram. The enemy is in optimal range, said the ranger. In a fleet of such scale, his position was quite prestigious and grand. The officer had the honor of notifying the Supreme Grand Admiral of when the enemy was in optimal range. Hold, said the Supreme Grand Admiral. Everyone knew that the Red Capital weapons were shorter range than theirs, and no one was surprised by the order. To fire before an enemy had a chance to return fire would have been dishonorable. Minutes passed as the two formations closed. Enemy warming weapons, reported the fleet's eyes. Prepare to fire, ordered the Supreme Grand Admiral. Enemy firing, said the eyes. Weapons ready, said weapons. All capital weapons, fire, said the Supreme Grand Admiral. The grid's rear layers, battleships, battlecruisers, and heavy cruisers all fired as one. Relativistic slugs shot through the layers of the blue fleet, their blue burning tracer segments drawing streaks of fire across the void. Several seconds later, a similarly sized, larger caliber wave of red burning slugs flashed out of the void and crashed into formation. For a minute, there was silence in the void, as blue and red ships died. Weapons ready, said weapons. Fire, repeated the Supreme Grand Admiral. For a good hour, the two fleets closed across light minutes of range, exchanging relativistic slugs. Eventually, when less than ten light seconds separated the two still solid formations, both sides sent forth fighters and assault boats, those raced ahead, clashing in the middle to generate a light second spanning dogfight. None of the fighters tried to break through. That wasn't in them. All they had to do, each knew, was to kill every other fighter. Soon, corvettes and frigates were sent in. They were soon followed by destroyers, then by light cruisers. Around then, Tiny finally cleared the system's gravity well and warped out. And a minute later, Tiny warped back in, on the other side of the system. The Red and Blue Admirals had an oddly similar reaction. What? Where? The human ship has warped over the Red support formation and is firing. Fuck, are we going to have enough ammo? Maybe, said Tactical. I'm overriding the missile code, and ordering the submunitions to all go after different ships. 
we have 120 missiles, seven warheads each. Assuming all hit, which they will, that'll take care of at least 10% of the enemy logistics fleet. They don't have point defense, do they? Nope. All right, how about railgun ammo and laser lenses? Might run out of lenses, but we'll be good on the railguns. Also, said Tactical, I recommend we employ the Sea Whiz. For what? Killing ships. I mean, they aren't actually evading. A short burst per ship should do the trick. The captain took off his glasses with one hand and used the other to facepalm. Go ahead. The uni tiny shuddered as metal, fire, and light began to erupt from its hull. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you're new here, welcome aboard. Check out the description for the story and join the Discord if you like. Consider supporting the channel and the author as well. It's a dangerous world out there, but remember to be brave and look up to seek the stars. Thank you.